بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ذا اني ستيست هاز 7 بوينتس تو بيرفورم فيرست اوف اول ذا بري اوبريتيف اسسمنت ويتش انكلودز هيستوري هيستوري اوف انيسيزيا ذا موست امبورتنت تو ايتمز از ان اكزامبل ذا فلوسين هيباتايتس ويذر هي ديفلوب ذات بيفور اور وان اوف هيز فاميليز اند سكسنال كولين ابنيا ويتش از ماسر ريلاكسينج جيفينج ويتش از بريكينج داون باي سودوكولين ستريز Uh, sometimes there is a defect in the enzyme uh, uh, breaking down this uh, this uh, muscle relaxant, so we uh, will have a patient with a prolonged uh, paresis and apnea. Uh, this is the importance uh, of the history of anesthesia. Second thing, the uh, history of diseases, whether cardiovascular, respiratory, and so forth. And we can uh, uh, brief this uh, accordingly to the American Society of Anesthesiologists which divides the patient into six categories. Of course, it could be uh, urgent also. So uh, category one is a patient, normal patient without any disease. A patient, uh, the second patient uh, category is a patient who has mild hypertension or uh, diabetic uh, disease. The third one is uh, a, a patient also has whether uh, hypertension or diabetes or other disease, which does not uh, hinder his activity. The, the fourth one, is a patient which has a, a disease where it, where it affects his uh, activity. The fifth uh, patient, which is a patient uh, who's, who is not af uh, expected to live for more than 24 hours. Uh, and the sixth one is the patient which uh, who is uh, clinically uh, dead, but we is, we is going to uh, uh, do an operation to take off his organs. Uh, the third uh, item is the history of drugs. Of course, many drugs interfere with the anesthetics. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, tricyclic antidepressant, monoaminoxidase inhibitors, uh, muscle, uh, I'm sorry, uh, anticoagulants. We must notice that we can shift this anticoagulants to, uh, for instance, uh, uh, calixan before the operation. Uh, these are the, uh, some examples of the history of drugs. The second thing is examination, whether, of course, general or local. Local uh, uh, importance for us is the configuration of the intubation times. We can uh, figure out whether the, this patient will be difficult regarding intubation or not. And we can have a look uh, on his veins also. Uh, the investigation, with, which is the third po point regarding uh, the preoperative assessment, of course, including the cardiovascular, respiratory, and so forth, the CBC and uh, and the kidney function and ECG and uh, echo and whenever the patient is more than uh, 50, uh, 70 years. The second item is preoperative preparation. So we, whenever the patient has a disease, he must be uh, treated before. Uh, and uh, we must stop uh, certain drugs as anticoagulants and monoamine oxidase inhibitors 14 days before. And the patient ought to be uh, fasting for um, eight to eight hours, or uh, he can have a, uh, uh, fresh flu uh, fluids two hours before the operation. The third item is induction of anesthesia. Uh, induction may be by general anesthesia by the aid of endotracheal intubation and uh, using the anesthetic station machine. And then uh, this is done by intravenous uh, uh, drugs at, as the beginning, or it can be uh, done by inhalation by a mask in kids. Local uh, analgesia is the second item, which uh, includes spinal anesthesia, local intravenous anesthesia, and we'll have a look about some uh, figures uh, correlated to this uh, po point and other regional uh, blocks. Uh, nowadays, uh, local nerve blocks are uh, aided by the help of sonography. Maintenance of anesthesia by using inhalation, most probably, or total intravenous uh, anesthesia. All the way, uh, we use intravenous, especially uh, propofol. Uh, meanwhile, aided by muscle relaxant and, and narcotics. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, we uh, we can supplement the, the procedure by CVP or arterial line. CVP is the central uh, uh, venous uh, uh, pressure ca cannulation. Uh, we will uh, tell you a, a hint about it later on. And we can use infusion pumps or seizing pumps. Uh, the fifth uh, point is recovery, a reversal of recovery of the patient. We reverse the muscle relaxant by prostigmine. We ought to uh, suck uh, the secretion in the mouth and support ventilation and the hemodynamics. Hemodynamics, of course, means uh, the blood pressure and the heart rate. Uh, we can use a PCA, which is uh, called the patient controlled energy, the post-operative is a drip method uh, made of a silicone bag, which uh, 
uh, deflates uh, slowly to give uh, the proper dose uh, for uh, 24 hours uh, as a pain relief or maybe for three days. Recovery uh, room admission, uh, the patient has been admitted and then uh, the, uh, left from there by special uh, trained personnel uh, with when, whenever he knows his name and the time and uh, there is a stable ventilation and hemodynamics, he can go to his room. Uh, the, uh, uh, so the, the last item is uh, sending the patient to intensive care, uh, especially in very lengthy, uh, complicated surgery or uh, after uh, cranial surgery or a complication which occurs in uh, during the operation, uh, whether it is uh, correlated to anesthesia or uh, surgery, which is rare. Uh, don't be uh, afraid about this point. These are the some figures showing uh, what's uh, correlated to anesthesia. This is the malabati classification. Whenever I open the bowels of the patient by uh, uh, pulling the tongue, I can visualize the uvula and the, the, the position of the tonsils being the, between the pillars. So this is normal patient. And then we, we begin to find difficulty when uh, reaching to level uh, four, which is a difficult situation. Uh, where we may uh, fail to introduce the endotracheal tube, this is the internal diameter and this is the external diameter. So we may use laryngeal mask, as you can see, this is a device which has been uh, introduced without the aid of a laryngoscope or in the very difficult situation, we use the fiber optic laryngoscope, which is a malleable tube where we can direct the uh, tip of the tube between the cores. As you can see, this is the vision we always uh, uh, face whenever I anesthetize the patient. So we admit this, uh, fiber optic through this course, and then we slide the tube through. And this is a, a, a hint about the X-ray of, of a patient. We can see the, the anatomy of the lungs and can see the trachea and the bronchi and the copula of the diaphragm and the size of the uh, heart, which is uh, less than half of the distance between the two uh, gaps. And we can see the between the two uh, lungs and we can see the, the ribs and the clavicle. All these are uh, a normal uh, X-ray of a patient. Of course, the, uh, the the lungs are jet black, means that it, it is normal. And this is the epidural injection, like the spinal uh, needles, but it's uh, sicker. We will tell you later on what's the uh, the duties of this uh, uh, needle. And then this is the, different types of spinal needles. And then a recent one is what we call pencil-like. It looks like the end of a pencil, so it uh, does not cut the fibers of the dura, so it lessens the incidence of headache. Uh, and then this is the sizes of the cannula from a uh, bigger to a less one. And then in the middle one, which is the pink one, the internal diameter of it, it's, it, it's sketch at 20, the internal diameter is around one uh, millimeter. Uh, now we go to the CVP, as you can see, this is uh, uh, the, the, the uh, landmark of it between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid, especially uh, below the uh, medial board of clavicular head, where we go through at the angle of uh, 25 or 45 to reach to the ipsilateral uh, nipple in males uh, to uh, introduce the cancer by the Sibdinger method. Uh, uh, this this important that we can inf infuse a, a lot of amount of fluids because of the caliber of the vein. And at the same time, we can uh, have a hint about the blood volume and the left ventricular, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, right side of the heart. And, and this is a picture of the local anesthetic, the, the, the most common uh, one used in eye surgery, where we inject uh, two injection, one uh, at the, at the uh, uh, lateral border of the lower uh, uh, eye, as you can see, uh, and then and the other one at the medial cancer, as you can see this point uh, near the nose. These are the two points where we can uh, paralyze the uh, the muscles of the eye, and meanwhile uh, causing analgesia. This is what we call look at intravenous anesthesia, where we put a cuff and we increase the cuff uh, 80 millimeter mercury above the systolic, and we inject a look anesthetic in the periphery. The anesthesia will be confined to this area so that the surgeon can uh, work. And this is uh, an echo. Uh, the echo has been uh, asked for in any patient who is more than 50, 70 years old, he has a complications. So this is my echo, and it shows the uh, the. I'm sorry. Uh, 
it shows the ejection fracture, which is imp a very important. Mines is around 54%, and it gives a hint about the movements of the heart. We, we, whenever we have a hypokinesia, there is a defect in the movement. That means that this area has been uh, affected by the defect in the blood supply of it. So this is a sign of ischemia. So this is a hint about uh, uh, the echo. The last thing is uh, my, my colleague is introducing uh, arterial line by what we call the Sendinger method, where he introduces, uh, uh, first of all, a, a needle. And then through the needle, he introduces a, wire, a guide wire. And then through this guide wire, he he uh, puts the, the, the terminal canyon through it. So we can uh, use it as a, me a method to continuous measure the blood pressure. And we can take blood gadgets for uh, analysis. Now we come to uh, some uh, some uh, diagram. First of all, this this uh, this uh, diagram shows the the blood uh, uh, test. Uh, of course, CBC and the kidney and the liver function. We can see the normal uh, the uh, the normal range and uh, and the diabetic patient normal range is being uh, placed uh, be, 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 be beside his his uh, data, and we can uh, use this. Of course, it is important before the uh, surgery. This is my colleague inducing anesthesia. This is our electrode ECG electrode. She's inducing anesthesia, and this is the anesthetic apparatus, the monitor, the saturation, the blood pressure, and the ECG. And this is the setting of the ventilator, and this is the bag where the ventilator. Uh, 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 it gives me a hint that, the, that this this co this connection is well connected to the patient. Uh, after that, we will we will have a hint about. Uh, I'm I'm inducing in uh, induction of anesthesia by giving a muscle relaxant uh, trachea, of course by dose uh, to to facilitate endotracheal intubation. Of course, it paralyzes the lung. The the I'm sorry, the diaphragm intercostal and the. The, the laryngeal muscle so that I can, this is the prevent. This is muscle relaxant, which takes, uh, works for around 20 minutes. After that, after a patient uh, sleeps here, as you can see, he's beginning to sleep. Uh, we will find a drooping of the eyelids and he's going to lose everything. And this is the tracing, the blood pressure, the situation, the ECG, which is normal, regular. And this is an acidic, this is setting of the ventilator, this is the tidal volume, this is the rate of respiration, inspiration, expiration, ration, expiration, and this, this is the pressure limit, uh, so that will not uh, increase much uh, the pressure in the airway. So I'm going to uh, wait for around one, one minute and a half till I uh, in, introduce the, the I'm, 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 I'm assuring that the, my ventilation is, uh, is in a patent patient where I can visualize the movement of the stomach. After that, I'm going to uh, put uh, to use the laryngoscope and we use the tube. Uh, you will see now the vocal cords where we introduce the 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 tube. You can see the the the, the cords, the cords, and then this the this the area where we use the tube. After that, I attach I. I inflate the cuff. This is the caster mount to assure that the, a, a proper sealing, there is no uh, regain and uh, no aspiration will occur and the ventilator will, will uh, work uh, pro properly. This is another, uh, another, uh, another uh, film showing, of course, uh, the, the ringoscope. Uh, uh, visualizing the cores and this is the electrodes and this is the langoscope you can see and then we come now to the uh, using using the sonography to uh, to visualize or to introduce the arterial cannula you see this is the by sonography showing the uh, artery which is uh, red uh, black and then this is the needle uh, pricking the wall of the of the of the of the arterial line, radial artery, and you can see. And whenever he reaches, he pierces this wall, he will get a jet of blood. Now you can see the blood. See now this is the jet of the blood, comes in pulsations. This is the, the this is the normal this is the normal. 
uh, view. After that, we will see the, the monitor. Of course, this uh, distortion is by uh, the electrical de defect. Of course, this uh, this does not give a hint uh, about the proper heart rate because there is a distortion. Now we come to the normal uh, monitors. Of course, we uh, we ought to have a blood pressure and ECG and oxygen saturation. Meanwhile, we ought to have, of course, uh, uh, the capnogram. As you can see, the capnogram is gives me a hint about the end of CO2. It's very important to assure that I'm in the proper site whenever I intubate, and it helps me during the CBR. Whenever the CBR is, uh, is uh, done, I must assure that there is a proper uh, perfusion, and so there is a, a proper gas exchange, and we'll find a tracing of this uh, this capnogram whenever we are successful in uh, CVR. And this is what we call the dip, uh, typical rain dip, where we can it, it, it gives a hint that the, the patient is beginning to uh, take in his respiration, so he's in need of uh, muscle uh, relaxant. Now we come to spinal. Spinal, we first of all, we give look and see that by a, a spinal, uh, by an insulin and a needle. And then after that, we use the pencil-like uh, spinal needles. He's, of course, he's going to put the, this is the introducer. It is a needle, especially uh, then we put the pencil-like through it. And then we begin to uh, go through the, 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 between the vertebrae spines. Of course, the landmark is the iliac crest, and he's beginning to 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 to, to try to uh, manipulate there. He reaches the proper, and then he introduces the cannula. The I'm sorry, the the needle, and we'll see uh, the dripping of the CSF to assure that he is in the proper site. You can see it's very clear now. Now it's coming. Yes, this is the normal flow. Uh, from a 25 gauge uh, spinal needle and going to inject this amount of course is correlated to the age and the site and uh, the site of the surgery i'm sorry and uh, the length of the patient and so forth and this is uh, epidural uh, energy the epidural is a, a, a larger needle as we saw as uh, we uh, we saw before and uh, it, it the advantage of it of course that we can introduce a caster so we can maintain the energy for two days three days day or whatever so he i am trying to introduce the needle between the two spines of course i'm hitting bone all the way uh, till i uh, uh, reach the space between the lamina above and the lamina below where I can uh, go through the proper side. And this is the silicon needle to appreciate the loss of resistance. The uh, space is uh, characterized by uh, loss of resistance, negative pressure. So I am trying to reach the space. And now that uh, whenever I reach the place, I'm, I'm beginning to introduce the caster. And this is the adapter where I inject through. I'm going to inject through the caster according, of course, the site of the surgery. And we give top of the doses every two hours so to maintain analgesia. Of course, the patient is uh, cooperative because he was giving a, tra a dormicam, which is a, a sedative, a benzodiazepine. This I am, I'm injecting nowadays. This is the last thing about uh, anesthesia in, uh, in kids. As you can see, this is the patient uh, sleeping with three uh, three electrodes and uh, in the tracheal tube uh, place uh, connected to the uh, anesthetic circuit. And this is the setting of the of the ventilator. 